Ah, self talk, self talk, self talk. I ain't done with you yet, you little punk. <laughs> little punk. Now, self talk. I just want to explain something to you, right? This video is not me like trying to expose you. Like it's 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 really truly not. I just want to help explain to you why people are looking at you the way that they're looking at you, right? Because in your recent video, you was like, yo, I don't understand why people are coming to my videos, leaving comments and saying this and saying that. So this video is to help you understand where you went wrong, right? And why are people are looking at you with the side eye? Why are people calling you snake talk, right? Now, self-talk, I'm sure you've seen the video that I made about um, Vlad TV trying to start the beef, right? Now that's how you properly try to warn someone. Like this, this, this video, video right here was an excellent video that I made, and I wasn't highlighting Gilbert Arenas and Kwame Brown. I wasn't highlighting what Gilbert Arenas said. Right? I'm highlighting that DJ Vlad is a snake and he's trying to start mess. See, self talk. What you was doing. You were highlighting Gibbard Arena's words. You highlighted what Gibbard Arena said. You was throwing little sneak disses. That would, that's what you were doing. You were throwing subtle jabs. And people like me and a lot of other people can see that you're not just trying to warn the community that, hey, I'm not trying to... You're throwing subtle jabs, right? And let me explain to you why people like me and other people have a problem with the way you cover Kwame Brown, right? Because first of all, everything that you cover about Kwame Brown is negative now, right? Everything that you cover about Kwame Brown is negative. It's about what somebody said about him. And then you throw your little two cents in it. Um, I would say, for everybody not to feed into this clip for the simple fact that it's old and this was before fair use 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 or they squashed whatever issues they had on Kwame's panel um so yeah now I'm going to point this out to you right here at Self Talk hey man I would say just this shouldn't be nothing to stir up no drama or anything like that you know unless Kwame feel a certain way and he wants to respond to it then um right there you say well they ended the beef so nobody should feel a certain type of way. But Kwame Brown, if you want to respond to it, well, then you can because you have all the right. That's antagonizing. That's antagonizing. Why would you even say that? Why would you even want Kwame Brown to respond? That's antagonizing. You're antagonizing. You're, you're shoving him closer to the edge so he could go off. What you're doing is like, say if if a crackhead is in rehab and they have been clean for five months and they come visit you, you seem like the type that would invite a crackhead over that has been clean for five months and put crack on the table and say, well, I know you clean, but the crack is right here, so you can have it if you want to, but... It's just up to you. Why would you even entice that person that is clean to take a hit of that? So that's what you're doing. You're enticing. You're instigating. You're antagonizing. You shouldn't even say, Kwame Brown, well, you can respond if you want to. No. Why even say that? So that's why people look at you with a side eye and say that you sneak dissing and that you're trying to start beef. Once again, this video is trying to help you realize what you're doing. This is not an exposing. I'm, I'm actually trying to help you in your commentary, right? Now, since you're talking and you're not typing anymore, you need to be a little bit more, um, I can't say it, selective of the words that you say and how you say it. All right. Are you ready for lesson number two? So yeah, man, I would say just this shouldn't be nothing to stir up no drama or anything like that. You know, unless Kwame feel a certain way and he wants to respond to it, then um Once again, 
you're saying, oh, this is this should not stir up any drama. But if Kwame Brown, if you want to start the drama, well, then go ahead. You don't do that unless you want the drama to keep going. That's why I self-talk. I mean, I guess that's up to him. He has every right to, just for the simple fact that his name is attached to it and it's on DJ's black platform. So yeah, man, um, other than that, I feel like everybody else shouldn't try to, you know, stir up no shit. Nobody was stirring up nothing, self-talk. Did you know why I didn't cover it? Because I knew it was an old video. Nobody was talking about it. People seen it. People realized that it was an old video, but you the one that want to come out with it and try to tangle it up a little bit. Um, the reason why Gilbert Arenas, as far as from me talking to him. Once again, you just snitched on yourself. As far as Gilbert Arenas, as far as me talking to him, what do you mean by talking to him? Did you actually have a conversation? Why are you talking to Gilbert Arenas about Kwame Brown? Nigga, Kwame Brown helped build your channel. He literally built your channel. If it wasn't for Kwame Brown, we wouldn't know who you are. Why are you even communicating with Gibbet Arenas? Man, if, if Gibbet Arenas was trying to talk to me, hey, you know what? I ain't gonna lie. I would, I would a uh, uh, finesse Gibbet Arenas. I'd be like, hey, send me $5,000 and I'll talk about Kwame Brown. Man, I'll take that money and run so fast. <laughs> I would finesse the fuck out of Gilbert Arenas if, if he ever tried to contact me. I'd be like, hey man, give me give me ten thousand dollars and I will expose Kwame Brown. Man, I'll take that ten thousand boy, I'll run off on I'll run run off on the plug twice, nigga. <laughs> I would take that money and run in. And I wouldn't make no videos about Kwame Brown. But why are you even talking to Gilbert Arenas? Why? As far as from me talking to him. What is from me talking to him? From me talking to him. As far as from me talking to him, as, as far as from me talking to him, the reason why he was. Now you're talking to Gibbon Arenas? Another reason why people looking at you with the side eye. So, um, yeah, it could be like a shame on you, Vlad, if he just threw that shit out there watching, knowing that these guys squashed their beef or whatever. So, um, yeah, man, it's. It is a shame on Vlad. It's definitely a shame on Vlad. My video is how you properly shame vlad see your video was not shaming vlad your video was highlighting what gilbert arena said about kwame brown my video and your videos two different videos so the way that you approached it was completely wrong self-talk you were highlighting what gilbert arenas was saying and you were sneak dissing kwame brown and you was living through Gilbert Arenas words because self-talk you know deep down the side you think Kwame Brown has some dumb supporters too you know that you know that's how you truly feel so that's why you highlighted it you highlighted what Gilbert Arenas said because that's how you feel so so you was living through Gilbert Arenas allegedly I think I snapped allegedly it's nothing to feed into unless you know you want to have a so yeah my opinion as far as like the YouTubers it's nothing to feed into but yeah man you know um, Gilbert Arenas Nobody was feeding into it. All right, now. Um. My point of view from the situation is, I clicked on um, Shug's video, he had a live. Now, 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 now here you go. You're, promo you're promoting another person that is attacking Kwame Brown. You always do that. You say that you don't want no beef, but you literally promote Everybody that's talking bad about him. You sneak this and that is sneak this in, bro. So you got Gilbert Arenas up and now you're promoting another channel that's talking about Kwame Brown. Do you see why people looking at you at weird? Point of view from the situation is I clicked on um Chug's video. He had a live earlier or whatever. I saw the comment from somebody they left was like, yo. Uh, Gilbert said something about Kwame again and all that. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, damn, I thought they squashed the beef or whatever. So when I clicked on, uh, I searched Vlad up, saw the video, then I looked at the date, and then I still saw like, oh, this still this, this part of the same video that's old. You know what I mean? Um, well, I self talk. I already explained the dates. I already explained the dates. 
in your first video, you was like, well, I think this is an old video, but I don't know how Vlad records his videos. I don't know how Vlad records. You know what you were doing. Trying to get back in good terms with people. Like I always stated, I was going to cover news surrounding Kwame, good or bad. Um, so let me just highlight what you just said, self-talk. Understand what you're saying makes no sense. And I'm going to show you why. I was going to cover news surrounding Kwame, good or bad. Um, always stated I was going to cover news surrounding Kwame, good or bad. Um, I'm always going to cover Kwame Brown, good or bad. First of all, why would you even want to cover a man that has that doesn't want anything to do with you? Like, why? Why are y'all so possessed? Why are y'all so obsessed? Kwame Brown doesn't want to do doesn't want to have anything to deal with you. So why do you want to continuously cover Kwame Brown? Oh, for the clicks and the views and the money. Well, you don't even get paid. So but you want the clicks and the views. Kwame Brown does not rock with you right now. He doesn't like your behavior. So why are you covering someone that doesn't like you and doesn't want you to um, cover him? But you still say, well, I'm, I'm still going to talk about him. Good or bad. Good or bad. I was going to cover news around Kwame, good or bad. Um. I'm going to cover Kwame Brown, good or bad. Uh, Self talk. Where's the good? Where's the good? that you covered about Kwame Brown. Um, I don't see anything good uh, that you covered about Kwame Brown. Where's the good? Where? Where? I, I don't see the good. The only thing you're doing is covering the bad about what somebody else is saying about Kwame Brown. Bro, use your words wisely. Now that you're talking, you're, you're Fumbling and bumbling all over the place. What you're saying out of your mouth is not the actions that you're producing. You're not producing anything positive about Kwame Brown. What is good that you're highlighting about Kwame Brown? Where? You said that you're going to highlight the good and the bad. Where's the good? There is no good. All you're doing is highlighting the bad about Kwame Brown. Come on. See, see self talk. I'm trying to help you out and I'm trying to explain to you why people look at you with a side eye. All right. So I hope you're listening to this and taking notes. And this is why people coming at your neck. This is why I'm coming at your neck because the words that you are saying doesn't match your behavior. It doesn't match your actions. Your words doesn't align with your actions. You know, I even fell back from this shit. Going to cover news around Kwame, good or bad. Um, validation or trying to get back in good terms with people like i've always stated i was going to cover news around Kwame, good or bad um stop the cap stop the cap and they're trying to get back in good terms with people like i've always stated i was going to cover news around Kwame, good or bad um cap 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 it but at the end of the day uh i'm not being disrespectful towards this man i really hope that y'all don't try to spend in it like i'm being disrespectful towards this man um if any who said that you're being disrespectful no nobody said that you're being disrespectful people saying that you're being a snake and that you're being and, and that you sneak dissing i never said that you're being disrespectful i said that you're being a snake and you're being an antagonist if that's a word and you're provoking and you're instigating when you said that you're trying to stay out the beef so you're saying you're trying to stay out the beef, but then again, you're promoting what people are saying negatively about Kwame Brown. But then you said, well, I'm going to post the good and the bad about Kwame Brown. I don't see nothing good about Kwame Brown. Your words does not match your actions, sir. Anything I'm talking about, I'm talking about my situation as far as if I was brought up in something or like I said, you know, the clip that I had with Gilbert Arenas. I took that down because, you know, I saw a clip of Kwame saying he was torn in between, like flagging me or whatever. So, again, man, you know, I'm not just bringing up shit that I can. Yes, you are. Uh, all right. 
I'm getting tired of hearing your voice. Supporters, um, dumb followers, or whatever, you know, uh, at the time frame when Gilbert dropped the, when the Vlad video dropped, shit, Gilbert Arenas could have been talking about me for all I know. Man, shut up. <laughs> Probably was. I hope so, because you are kind of dumb. I mean, supporters, um, dumb followers, or whatever, you know, uh, at the time frame when Gilbert dropped the, when the Vlad. Man, you know what? Supporters, um, dumb followers. I got, I got, I got other, I, I got other clips, but I don't even feel like playing it because I'm just tired of talking about you self talk. I got I got other fish to fry. And that's my time, man. No, I, I got I got a. Uh, so that is Gilbert Arenas on Vlad TV YouTube channel. Um, so yeah, man, that's a clip from DJ Vlad. Uh, just, All right, you know what? Self talk. I'm 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 done talking about you. I got bigger fish to fry. I got to make some Vlad DJ Vlad TV videos, but I just want to explain to you self talk how your actions doesn't match your words. You say one thing and you do the complete opposite. That's why people like me, people in the comments, people in your comments, people in my comments, that's why people looking at you sideways. That's why people looking at you like, snake talk, what are you talking about? You say you wanna stay out the beef, but then you're highlighting the beef. You say that you want to post the good and the bad about Kwame Brown. You post nothing good about Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown doesn't want to eat. Kwame Brown doesn't like you, bro. Why, why, why when Kwame Brown disconnects himself from people, they cannot let go? Why can't you let go? Why do you need to cover Kwame Brown? Why? He said that he ain't rocking with you, bro. He said he good. Why can't y'all let go? <laughs> Why can't y'all let go, man? But anyway, it's your boy Dan D. Self talk, I'm done with you. I got bigger fish to fry. I gotta make some DJ Vlad videos. But at the end of the day, I hope this video helped you understand why people look at you side eye. I'm out. DJ Vlad, I'm on your ass, boy.